Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. Today we are bringing you the most powerful and highly anticipated tutorial, a 100% free Windows 10 RDP with 16 GB RAM, a 64 core processor, and an insane internet speed of up to 3 Gbps. This is not your typical RDP setup. This is high performance computing at its finest in the best part. You don't need to pay a single penny, so listen up, follow every step carefully, do not skip anything, and by the end of this tutorial you'll have your very own super fast RDP up and running. All commands and necessary codes are in the description, so you can just copy, paste, and execute them. Now let's get started. Watch the video in full and don't skip ahead, missing even one step could break the setup. All commands and codes are provided in the description, so copy-paste them exactly as shown to avoid errors. Follow the sequence carefully, the setup must be done in order or it won't work. When creating your Playit account, make sure your temporary email is active and verify your account before proceeding. Keep all necessary tabs open until the setup is complete. Double-check all usernames, passwords, and credentials to avoid typos, especially in passwords. If something doesn't work, rewatch that section before asking for help. 99% of issues come from skipping steps or mistyping. Stay focused, follow along, and by the end, you'll have your free high-performance RDP up and running. Let's do this. GitHub provides cloud-based virtual environments, including RDP setups, through services like GitHub Actions, which are primarily designed for automation, CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and development purposes. These RDP instances leverage powerful hardware configurations, often featuring 16 GB RAM, 64 core CPUs, and ultra-fast internet speeds up to 3 Gbps. However, they are not meant for personal computing or gaming, but rather for software testing, automation, and running scripts in a high-performance cloud environment. GitHub offers these resources for free to help developers build, test, and deploy applications efficiently. However, since these RDPs are temporary and automatically terminate after a set period, usually a few hours, they are best suited for short-term tasks rather than long-term use. The main reason GitHub provides such high-performance virtual environments is to encourage software development, open-source contributions, and efficient workflow automation, ensuring developers have access to powerful computing resources without needing expensive infrastructure. When setting up an RDP through GitHub, users typically use a combination of GitHub Actions, Play It, GG tunneling services, and cloud-based scripts to establish a remote desktop connection. While following such tutorials, it's crucial to execute each step carefully, copy-paste all commands exactly as shown, and keep an eye on verification steps, temporary email services, and API keys. Missing a single detail could cause the setup to fail. Also, since free RDPs from GitHub have strict session limits and are not persistent, users should plan their tasks efficiently before initiating a session. It's important to stay updated on GitHub's policies, as misuse of these resources, such as using them for illegal activities, mining, or excessive personal use, can lead to bans or restrictions. To ensure a smooth setup, always use a fresh GitHub account if encountering restrictions. Keep your session active to prevent auto-termination, and always save your work externally before the session expires. Follow every step precisely. and you'll be able to take full advantage of this high-speed RDP while it lasts. Remote Desktop Protocol RDP is widely used for various purposes, ranging from software development, penetration testing, and cloud computing to data analysis, automation, and even content creation. Developers often rely on RDPs to test and run applications in isolated environments. Eliminating the need for high-end local hardware. 
Cybersecurity professionals use RDPs for ethical hacking. server management, and security testing without exposing their main systems to potential threats. Many data analysts and AI researchers leverage cloud-based RDPs for running complex machine learning models processing large data sets, and performing GPU-intensive tasks that would be impractical on standard consumer PCs. Additionally, RDPs are used for web hosting, bot deployment, and automating repetitive tasks such as web scraping, bulk file processing, and CI-CD pipeline execution. While many users are tempted to use free RDPs for gaming or streaming due to their high-speed internet and powerful CPU configurations, Most cloud providers, including GitHub, do not support such usage and often impose strict time limits or automated shutdown policies. Despite these restrictions, free RDPs are an excellent resource for temporary high-performance computing, learning cloud computing concepts, and testing software across different operating systems. However, it is crucial to use them responsibly. Misuse, including unauthorized activities or violating provider policies, can lead to account suspensions, IP bans, or even legal consequences. Always ensure that your usage aligns with the intended purpose of the platform, keep backups of your work since sessions are temporary, and avoid storing sensitive information on these machines. By understanding the best use cases and limitations of RDPs, users can maximize their benefits while staying compliant with service policies, ensuring seamless and productive remote computing experiences.
In conclusion, this tutorial has guided you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up a free Windows 10 RDP with 16 GB RAM, 64 core processor, and high-speed internet up to 3 GB PS using GitHub. We've covered everything from creating a Play It account to executing the necessary commands, ensuring you can access and utilize this powerful remote desktop efficiently. RDPs serve a variety of purposes, including software development, ethical hacking, data analysis, and automation, but they must be used responsibly to avoid account suspensions or bans. Always follow the best practices, avoid storing sensitive data, and be mindful of usage policies to keep your access secure and uninterrupted. If you followed each step carefully, you should now have a fully functional RDP at your disposal. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. Stay tuned for more powerful tech guides. Until next time, happy computing.